welcome back you guys whoop that was not what I wanted to do uh, welcome back to let's play Tales of Symphonia in the last episode we decided to come back to set back and finish up some loose ends kind of but I named two dogs this one is Turby and the other one in the square is Chappy so cool but anyways we have to come back here but we can't go through the entrance because we are wanted criminals against everything so anyways, let us go down the hall, and we're gonna go talk to the lady. Hello, lady. It's you. We saved our friends and came back from with Prisea just like we promised. I forgot I have to talk during this thing. It's been a very long time since I've done this. Yes, you're right. This strange banana produced by the fusion of elven and human blood. You really do have half-elf friends. I've heard the story. Prisea is creating a crucious crystal inside her body. Yes, that's correct. We call it the Angelus Project. The Angelus Project? That's the project my mom was involved in. Oh, Poor baby, I know. It sucks. I know, I know. The exterior itself is nothing special. It's just the special key crest placed on it. This key crest delays the exterior's parasitic process, which can take place over a few days or up to several decades. It seems that this can cause exteriors to mutate into crucius crystals. Is the parasitic infection of the expert the reason why Prisea's emotional response is so subdued? She's just like Colette. If we leave Prisea like this, what will happen to her? When the parasitic process is complete, she will die. That's horrible! Please save her! What'd, you, what'd she ever do to you? Nothing. She hasn't done anything. She's just a match in the compatibility test. You promised you're going to save her, right? Yes, I did. I know. You didn't discriminate against your half-elf... That was stupid. I'll keep my promise. Ugh. Kate, are you sure if you do that, you'll... A promise is a promise. In order to save Prisea, speak to the dwarf named Altessa who lives deep in the... Gaurdracha... What? Never mind. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll probably get pronounced soon. There are dwarves in this world, too? Yes, he and I participated in the experiment by the order of the Pope. Sheesh, not that pathetic old man again. Don't call him a pathetic old man. Oh, my, that's unusual. The half elf siding, siding with the Pope. I'm not siding with him. Anyway, I have Altessa repair Prisea's key crest. Lloyd, can't you fix it? To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between what this and norm between this and a normal key crest. It's probably faster to search for that dwarf Altessa. Then it's settled. Shall we head to I don't even care for us? Yeah, I thought there could be a connection between the Pope and the designs. Yes, I'm wondering about that too. I'm just curious. Can I gigolo you? Can I? No, never mind. Can't gigolo. Oops. Oh well. For the time being, we're uh, we're outlaws. Ooh, I love that little thing. Excuse me. I've been very sick lately, unfortunately. Not very sick, but I've been coughing a lot lately. So I might cough, and if I cough, I might take a couple seconds, take a breath, and come back to everything. But anyways, I gotta look at my weaponry and stuff. Hang on a second. Alright. Nothing really of interest to do the thing. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna buy a couple of extra stuff. Just in case. Because I, I again, have not played this part in God knows how long. So as, as far as I've gotten is about here... So, be prepared for some confusion and probably some anger. Uh, who do I want in my party, though? It's gonna be Rain... Rain, Lloyd, Zelos, and... You know what? We'll do Persea. We'll equip Persea with uh, a new weapon. Just so that I have it. And I wanted it, and I got it. Huzzah. And anyways, now we must go to the forest of the impossible name, because I don't really care about saying it. But, yeah. So, off we go. Uh, the question is, where is it? I don't want to get lost, and I don't want to get into a million battles. Uh, speak of the devil. This is gonna be a peep oh, crap. Colette's still in my party. Uh, Kellyanne, come on. Focus here. You can do better than this. Ugh. <sighs> I have not played in a very long time, guys. Like, a very long time. Like, it's been at least a month and a half, two months. 
I have had no interest in playing lately, and I've been so stressed out over a whole bunch of shit, plus I've been working a lot more at my job, because some guy that I worked with decided to quit, so not only am I working in a haunted house, but I'm also working at a job five days a week. Not much time to play video games and stuff. Anyways, continuing. Whoa, this place is creepy. Wow, it's dark. Colette, you're awfully cheery. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, this place is interesting. Oh, it's Papal Night. <laughs> Papal Nights. With an S, sorry. Celis, you're the Chosen. You are one in the way of the Pope. <laughs> I've known that since I was a kid. S that makes things simple. It's time for you to die. As if, fools. We're gonna beat the living shit out of you. Probably should've done some more uh, grinding, which I might have to do coming up here soon. Might have to take a couple of days and do some grinding, just so it gets done and out of the way. I don't know whether or not I'm at a good level at this point. So we'll figure that out the next boss, I'm sure. I forgot how much I love these new ones. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a boss coming up in the next couple of episodes, which means Kellyanne is going to have to really force herself to win these battles. And if not, if I don't beat bit them very easily... Lord knows I need to step up my game. I'm not in the mood to use my unison attack yet. I just I have this feeling that if I start using it now, I'm gonna regret it later. So we're not gonna do that. And I probably will battle every battle coming up, pretty much, just to make it easier on myself. Not even a contest. <laughs> We've won, but now what are we going to do? <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. What else? Before they bring in reinforcements. We'll get the heck out of here, but to where? Perhaps I'll test this place? Exactly. This is a windy, bendy place. With a lot of windy, bendy, windy bends. Hello, little buggies. We'll fight you. We'll... You can see what some of the new creatures are in these woods, which you haven't seen yet. These guys look like black mages. Wrong game, though, I know, right? They're not even in black. They're just black-faced. That's a little racist, sorry. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I am super tired right now. Like, super tired. With all the work that I've been doing lately, five days a week, and working a second job and all that jazz, my YouTube's been kind of on the back burner lately. Especially this one. I feel bad about that, because I know there are plenty of you guys who want to see more of this. So, my apologies. Hey, this is Miss Light. It's like a lamp. What do we use it for? The forest is dark, so there might be some plants to react strongly to light. So, what we can do, well, we have to also find lit up spots and stuff like that. Oh, did I find it? That was sure as hell an exit. Oh, looky that. Okay. That was not what I meant. <laughs> this was not what I meant to do, but okay, I can handle it. Now we have some gold ladybugs. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. I should probably be putting... Uh, yeah. Magic lends the shit out of them. Gold beetle. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. They look pretty gold to me. If they sh did some shiny shit, it'd be even cooler. <laughs> All right. Well, we found this thing at least. What else do we got? Uh oh. This <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I agree with you, Zellos. Uh oh. Oh god, can you poison? Please tell me you don't poison. I would be very upset if you do. It's a good thing I bought a lot of Pansia bottles, otherwise I think I'd be very angry. Why are you guys not fighting the one I'm fighting? Why are you fighting the one I'm fighting? And I gotta get per Colette out of here and get Persea in the party.
I don't know where I'm at right now. Oh, there's a scene. Hello, scene. I want you. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> What's wrong? Huh? Why are you sighing? Uh, uh, I was just thinking that I've changed. You have? I think I've become more stubborn because of you. That's good. No, it's not. We only need one person who's stubborn. Hey, like the professor says, you shouldn't give up on things so easily. <coughs> That's true, but what do you do? Well, you get bored when things get with things pretty easily. No, we don't. I don't give up on anything. Liar. Then why do you stop trying to memorize the Summon Spirits relation re relate I don't know what that means. That's another matter. Besides, let's go. I'm getting bored of this place. Lloyd, don't sit. You don't follow what you say. Hmm. I don't think anybody does half the time. Alright, anyways. Enough porcing around. It's time to go actually find the thing. I know, baby, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you home. Ugh. Don't make me feel bad about this, I swear to God. Anyways, it's time for real to go through the forest now. Yes, there are many ant like plants in here that will actually like will react to light, so that's the reason we have one of these. So, like this. Oh, damn it, I forgot no. Ugh, fuck, I didn't realize as soon as you left the thing changed back. The woods used to be a lo normal forest long ago. Oh, really? <coughs> but then one day, a thief hid a stolen treasure deep in the forest. Treasure? What kind of treasure? It's a jewel worth seven, several billion gold. So anyway, he slaughtered everyone who came looking for it. Whoa, that's horrible. <laughs> that disgusted look on your face, though, Genus. Over time, the forest became stained with blood, transforming into a cursed place haunted by the lingering resentment of the people killed here. Ugh, are you serious? <laughs> You're just trying to scare us, right? <laughs> Even now, when travelers enter the forest, the thief's ghost comes to kill them. Ooh, I love ghost stories. And the one he killed also seek to increase their numbers. <laughs> oh dear. Sheesh, not even three-year-olds believe stories like that these days. Well, they're not exactly the brightest bulbs in the shed, as you can pro probably guess by now. Okay, let us change the sorcerer's function again. Let us go get these treasures. So first of all... Wow, did you like just seriously turn around on me? So if we can stand in spots like this to increase our light. Because using it up takes up light. So standing in spots like these will help increase the light. As long as I don't get beat up by plants. <laughs> that would just be ridiculous. Damn it! Stupid plant. I'm not looking to try to get the entire monsters list but I'm working as far as I can to see what I will need for next time I decide to play and try to defeat the monster list thank you for say just as I expect I agree so you do that and I can open things very nice Hi, Jamie. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. I'll text you immediately. We can do this. Create new pathways. I like stuff like this. I love opening shit. Do you guys know the fear of holes? I don't know why I'm thinking about this right now. 
but I'm thinking about the fear of holes where people like absolutely despise looking at pictures of holes because they just creep them out or they're disgusting. I love opening things up and whenever there was one time when I uh when I was having my fear of holes just randomly killing my ass. Oh dear. You walked right through it, you douche! Get ready. Continuing my story anyways. Um, so like I remember one time watching my first ever realization that I had a fear of holes was when I was on Encyclopedia Dramatica back in 2011 or something like that. And I remember that uh I used to end up uh being creeped out by the fact that there was a, a woman on there. Well, this was a fake picture, but it was real enough to me that I was like, oh good god, this is disgusting. Uh, a thing called the Lotus Breast. Do not look it up, it's gross. But it was... <coughs> it was a picture of those photograph seed uh, plants that had a... Uh, what's his face? Horrible, awful seeds on the inside, so it was like pictured on some woman's boob. It was disgusting. And uh, they always tried to say stuff like that was real and all that jazz. And I know it's not, but Jesus Christ, it made me want to rip holes in things, which is why I wish that my manager that day had let me cut open a cantaloupe or something so that I could stick my hands inside and rip all those seeds out. Ew. Anytime I see those kinds of things and I get disgusted, it irritates the crap out of me, so I have to do that. Priscilla, why are you running that way? Right. Fight the monster, my dear. Oh, I found my memory gem. Cool. Can I, like, can I just do the thing? Thank you. I don't know the right way to go, so I'm just kind of guesstimating. I figure the more you walk towards things that you need to open up, <coughs> the more likely you're going to find where you got to go. Memory jam. Yes. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. Talk to you guys later. Alright, bye bye.